Presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, why don't the uh, show audience, hide audience, show stage screen, hide stage screen buttons seem to do anything in your system? Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, uh, and this is the show all about Pro Presenter. So, this is something that I hear from time to time, and I admit it's confusing. There's probably a better way to label these buttons, given what they do, but I just wanted you to know exactly what they do and under what circumstance they do stuff versus when they don't seem to do anything. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. So here we are in ProPresenter, and you'll notice that uh, the audience screen here is off, and uh, the stage screen is off. And yet, I'm using this version of ProPresenter that you're looking at to send to this uh, monitor right here. In fact, you can see down here that I've got the title of today's lesson listed, and so why is it on when these two are off? Well, what you need to think about is that this is not the, um, it says show or hide audience screen, show or hide stage screen. Instead, I want you to think that this is the show or hide the computer desktop button, okay? So we're actually on, I think this is an audience screen. Yeah, so this is actually an audience screen. I drug the user interface over. So if I click on, well, first let me uh, select something to show. Okay, so this is the screen that we will see here in just a second. So when I click on audience, now we see something, and uh, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Command-1 because I'm on a Mac to do the exact same thing since I had covered that over with the audience screen. So this is whenever you've got a just a regular computer output. So there are some things that it does not work for. So if we go back over here to configure screens you'll notice that this these here um, map to those as well I'm going to use the stage since the other screen is the stage and you'll notice that when I click on this this lights up green and when I click on stage here and now we go back to screens configure screens this has reverted back to the way that it was. Okay, so these are connected. They do the exact same thing. Uh, Command-2 does that same thing on a Mac. I believe it's Control-2 on Windows. I don't have those memorized as well. So uh, that's what that does. But it only affects uh, connected outputs to the computer that show the desktop, show the wallpaper normally. It does not work on any of the other types of screens. So uh, I have an NDI or Siphon, I guess I've got it set up to NDI right now, doesn't affect that because it doesn't have a desktop to show. Um, I've got a um, this is an alpha output using a Decklink Duo, which is Blackmagic hardware. Or not Blackmagic, I mean, you know, it's the company's name is Blackmagic. So um, it doesn't affect that because it doesn't have a desktop to show. It doesn't work for um, placeholder screens because they don't have a desktop to show. So what these buttons actually do is they show the desktop or they don't show the desktop. They show the desktop or they cover up the desktop if the computer has a desktop to show. So that's important to know um, that 
if you have black magic hardware if you have ndi siphon or a placeholder screen none of those have desktops to show so it doesn't do anything before i knew what these did way back in the pro presenter three days i thought that it would just make those go black but that's not how pro presenter is programmed so Probably it's better if you think of these as show or don't show the desktop buttons as opposed to show or don't show the ProPresenter output button because if the desktop display is configured to um, have a ProPresenter output on it, then when it's on, it'll be on, and then when it's, you could... Uh, Turn that off if you want and go from there. So really it gives you more flexibility to do it that way because otherwise uh, I would have to not have this regular screen here, which is the one you're looking at, it says BMD because it's running through a Blackmagic switcher, but it's not um, actually through uh, one of the Blackmagic SDI output devices like the 3G monitor or the deck link card, um, etc. So I couldn't have this at all if it always blacked that out because then if I turn that on, then um, it would cover up this screen in front of me that you're looking at. And if I turned it off, it would turn off this stage screen here. Well, this isn't a stage screen, it's a portrait monitor but I'm using it uh, just for teaching purposes. So that's kind of what it does. And it's a subtle thing, but it is something that you need to know in order to get ProPresenter to do what you expect it to do. If you like this content, uh, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number seven and quick. And, um, then give me your name and email address. I'll make a login for you automatically so that you can take that class for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.